Be sure to check out the tiny houses and the free shed plans from the Jamaica Cottage Shop in Vermont in the description below. redneck with this hat today. Yeah. Actually, not at these people because I love them. Goodridge Lumber in Vermont, they are the best. The best. This hat just makes me look like a dope. Or maybe it's just me. What's up, Deke? Relaxhacks.com. Want to share something with you. I also run Odd USA, another channel as well. Uh, I am big into mid-century modern furniture. I also build tiny houses and tree houses. And a ways back, I found a cool chair that I, it was legit a mid-century modern piece from the 50s or 60s, late 50s, I believe. I ordered it online. It was sent to me. I loved it. And then years later, when I had to clean up my treehouse for a video shoot for another show I do called Live from a Treehouse, also on YouTube, I gingerly lowered it off the rail of the treehouse. It fell and the leg drove itself into the chair and cracked one of the pieces. So I then was faced with the problem, what the heck do I do to fix this? So here's what I came up with. And maybe I fixed it and made it cooler, and maybe I totally ruined the chair. That's up to you. So I do a lot of graffiti work, doodling. It's just my ADD getting the best of me, by the way. Cool hairdresser chair. I'll show you that in another video, because so many people on my Facebook and Instagram feeds have been asking about that. Let me see the chair. Where did you get that? We'll feature that later. Um, so here's the chair. And this has also been pretty popular on Facebook. Uh, there is the crack right there. It's pretty extensive. Uh, I took a ton of high strength epoxy on the back side. I fixed it so structurally I can sit in it. Everything's cool now. But the fact remains there's still this unsightly awful crack right there. So I figured if I, you know, distracted people from the fact that it was cracked, um, it would make the chair look cooler and that's what I did. Here's the chair before it was plain orange and don't get me wrong, I loved it. But with a crack in it for all intents and purposes it was absolutely worthless and ruined. So I decided to take a big old Sharpie, one of these suckers right here. I've contacted Sharpie. They're a bunch of cheap SOBs uh, to try to get a sponsorship from them. And they won't even reply to me because I use them for so many things. I should actually just stop using their markers because there's probably better stuff out there. And uh, they won't even reply to me. I spend way too much money on their markers doing art that I showcase online and, and plug them, which I shouldn't have right there. Just to let you know what I use though, because they get the job done. So uh, I don't know what this style is. It's a mishmash of, uh, you know, let's say Keith Haring would be the easy comparison, but some of my favorite artists out there are like Doe's Green. Uh, big shout to a guy out there by the name, who goes by the name of Corp, K-O-R-P, in England. Really dig his stuff. And there's a bunch of others. Anyway, this is the chair here. I and mean, you be the judge. Given the circumstances, I really am pleased with how it came out. Just the thick line drawings. If you look closely, there's a couple things like this one almost looks like a Pac-Man ghost. Uh, there's kind of a couple faces, eyeballs and stuff hidden in there too. But that is the chair. One of those eggish shaped shell 50s chairs. A uh, little beat on the legs. It's not rust, just the color they were. But it's a chair I just couldn't bear to part with, so this is my solution to go to town on it, graffitiing the living heck out of it. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe this will give you some ideas if you want to attempt this with some, hopefully some less valuable furniture. Uh, because if it weren't for the crack, I wouldn't have done this to this chair at all. And there it is, just to show you. I'm pretty pleased. So there you have it. Leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Uh, tiny House Summer Camp, which is a mix of tree houses, tiny house building, all hands-on design, 
Uh, I'm about to get shot with a Nerf gun. I'll get you. And more and some art is happening in September. RelaxShacks.com to sign up for that. Thanks for watching and I'm going to get shot again. And we'll see you later. Ha <laughs> ha.